Welcome back, everyone. Well, health is wealth, and a big part of your health is your mind. That's a big part of your well-being journey. The Alzheimer's Association estimates two-thirds of Americans living with Alzheimer's are women. So joining us to talk more about brain health, and it is Alzheimer's Awareness Month, too. Dr. Bittner, good morning. Good morning. A lot of times we're talking about, you know, how we can be physically healthy, but the brain is, is really a big part of this. So let's talk about that. It's a big part of it. And sometimes I think we think of it as this organ kind of up here. Yes. We don't think about it. We just <laughs> take it for granted, right? Mm -hmm. That it's gonna work. But our brain health is also so dependent on our body health. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about, you know, something that women need to know. I mean, once we're over 60, we really need to be thinking about our brain health and, and how do we get started on, on thinking about that? Well, I think it's thinking about factors we can't change and factors we can mm -hmm. change. So risk factors that we can't change are family history. So if we have someone, a first degree relative with Alzheimer's disease, then we're that much more likely to have it. Mm -hmm. And also as we get older, our risk goes up. So okay. we know that 33% of people over 85 have Alzheimer's. Mm. And so we know as age, it's gonna happen um, more likely. So factors that we can change, we can change our blood pressure. So blood pressure is all about overall health, it's our weight, but also some people develop high blood pressure as they get older, mm. make sure it gets treated and aggressively, 120 over 70 is that top number I wanna see. Okay, and men, for men and women? For men and women. Okay. Well, I mostly know women, but um, <laughs> what we, well, but, but it's about not blood pressure at 70, it's blood pressure midlife. So it's midlife mm -hmm. blood pressure. So mm -hmm. it's what we do at 50 predicts 80. Okay. It's also about our blood sugar levels. If our blood sugar is high, then um, we're more likely to have dementia. Mm -hmm. If our cholesterol is high, we're more likely to have dementia. So it's looking at those factors for so many reasons including brain health. The reason I mentioned men is I know we're talking about women and women's brain health, but I saw that you said that, you know, this affects women and men pretty equally. Alzheimer's. Pretty equally. It's just, it looks like it affects more women mm -hmm. because women have a longer life expectancy overall. And so as the population ages, more women over 75 are going to be present. Sure. And so therefore more will have Alzheimer's. Let's talk about Jane and, and how she kind of moved. Yeah. This. So, so Jane came in for a visit and she talked about that her mom had Alzheimer's and she was really struggling to see her mom go through this. Her mom's personality was changing, her memory was, was um, really declining and it was becoming very difficult. And she was like, please tell me I don't have to have that. And I said, well, I can't tell you it's not going to happen, but that's only one risk factor. Mm -hmm. And so she really wanted to talk about brain health. And so, you know, the first thing I asked her is, what do you want? So she's like, well, I don't want to have dementia. I'm like, well, how bad do you want it? You know, are you willing to commit to it? And then let's make a plan. Mm -hmm. And that commitment looked like more sleep, more movement, and the blood pressure and blood sugar, sugar levels. So we mm -hmm. took stock of all that and we made a plan. So she had some, you know, she chose to lose some weight, get her blood sugar down, add her fiber, mm -hmm. and, and get her sleep. So those are the tips that I would want to share that people take away is like, number one, commit. Number two, take stock. Number three, make a plan. Thank you so much for that. Important, and you know, a lot of people are caregivers for this too, and and it's just something we we want to work on. So thank we do. you. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right.